these are going crazy today. Streams of pollen coming into these colonies. They are busy. That yellow, yellow pollen going in. It's got to be willow. And they are finding it. They are making use of the day. Before I left the yard, it was 12 degrees. And calm, about as calm as you can get for this side of the country. The long range forecast come out and early next week they're talking minus sevens, minus eights, minus nines is low. And then the highs up around that one to four, kind of in that range. So cold, like minus seven, minus eight, minus nine already. Come on, shake it off. So in a lot of ways, the best thing I can do is just do nothing right now. But it's so hard because I'm just seeing yellow streaming into the colony and I just want to get down and in there and do some work. But patience is my best investment right now. And I'll just hang with that thought. I'm going to take a look at the brood staging again. Take a look at my patty, just about done. That's a pound and a half. So as I look at this frame, I'm looking at lots of stored nectar. I'm looking at open cells, stored honey, pollen. That looks real nice. So this colony I would consider as being wet because they have lots of open feed on hand. Set that aside. Here's a frame of brood. So I'm looking at capped brood. I'm looking at larval stages of all, of all ages. Kind of in a shadow here, it's hard to see. This side, oh boy, there she is. Beautiful little queen. I'm just gonna put her on the other side so she's out of her way. We're not going to dig too far down into this nest because I've found out what I want to know already. They have a uh, brood of all ages. I'm looking at eggs. Eggs have just hatched and the bees are taking those eggs into the uh, larval state. Lots of jelly down there. I'm seeing pollen on hand rimmed with open syrup. That's a real good sign. You know, boys walking around here pretty soon. There's one there. Lots of young established brood. Okay, so that put me in a good mood. I don't have to look any deeper. These girls are doing what they have to do. If anything, we should be putting more protein on. <clears throat> but to me, it looks like they're handling themselves. Okay, let's, this one, the one beside him, this one here is not marked with a tag. As long as we're not in a shadow here. Oh, these guys are in good shape. They're just about done their patty. We need more patties out. See, they're just devouring this stuff. This colony, I'm counting one, two, three. What are they underneath here? Counting five to six frames underneath. And the rule is one frame, one strip, per every five, five frames of bees. So this colony has just outgrown itself to one strip. So we need another strip in this colony. I'll do that before we close up. And there we go, we have stored syrup. And this is important because when that colony gets cold next week, they need the syrup real close to them to be able to maintain all this work. We have mature brood, mature larvae, Nice little slap of brood there. Rimmed with pollen, rimmed with syrup. That looks real nice. I'll just dig right in here. Pow! Look at that. It's 
queen's making good use of her space. So she's stretching that nest out. She has eggs all the way around it, right down to here. And then they're right about where the syrup's starting to fill. So she's owning her space. I love this queen. I haven't even found her. So there's lots of protein there. I'm going to just relax a little bit. This is good. This is good. In one of my nuke yards, and I'm curious on what my little nukes are doing, so I'm just going to dig down into one and see what's up. So I identified this one as a small unit. I have a tag on top. It tells me that for whatever reason when I went through and graded it, it graded as small. They're eating the patty, that's a good thing. It's always a good sign when they eat the patties. So one thing I don't like about these fives is they're so damn tight. So just do this without mashing any bees. So anything I graded as a, with a tag is between that one to two frames. But because I haven't shook these guys out yet, it's because they're nukes. And there's a lot of reasons why they'll be small. Ouch. Not necessarily the queen's fault. So I give them just a little more patience. And if I would have had time or opportunity, I would have also, I would have had these guys kind of on top of a bigger unit already, just to give them a little bit of boost. But we haven't had time to go through to actually assess the vigor of these units yet. I only promote potential. So there's eggs going. Here's a nice patch of brood. Rimmed with eggs. Little patch of brood rimmed with eggs. Oh, there's some open brood there. Got some mature larvae. There she is there, nice little queen. Boy, that's small. So they know their limits. They don't have a lot of bees. They don't have a lot of syrup resource on hand. They have a lot of honey. But they don't have a lot of open feed. This colony is a little bit dry. And because of that, I think that's why they're lacking more of that open brood. So they've invested as much as they could into the brood nest and they wait until those bees emerge. And then they do it again and just see if they can get ahead but their limiting, their limiting factor is bees, not so much the nutrition. The nu this nutrition is just going to keep them going. So I'm a kind of a little bit afraid for colonies like this one. As this cold weather approaches, I should maybe put them on top of a larger unit. But it is going to be very cold. And I don't want to risk a larger unit that's viable just to boost something that hasn't really proven itself yet. Uh, so, you know, let's dig into one more here. There's another blue tagged nuke. Looks like there's a little more bees in this one. And they've consumed more patty, so that's a good sign. Nice patch of brood. There she is there. Very nice little black queen. I'm going to move her out of my way. And I 
can't get there. She's down you go. So she's doing a nice job laying here. The bees seem to uh, drown that out nice, but that's all there is. <clears throat> There's not much else. A few eggs, but not much else for. Hey, this frame is dry. slip this one in. These small hives, there's a big risk that they're going to be, there's some damage done next week on these small hives. They're going to be set back because they haven't been advancing the same as the big hives have been. And really, I should have boosted them by now, but we've hardly had a chance to do that. Let's just compare it down with the hive. I've marked the blue tag here. Yeah, so these guys have just about finished their patty already. You can see them eating the protein. How do I go down into this nest? Uh, one frame at a time, I guess. Oh, there we go. There's some stored syrup. There's a nice little patch of brood. We have eggs. All I'm seeing is eggs there, though. Nice little patch of brood. And there's some mature larvae rimming the, uh, the capped brood. And she stretched it out with eggs. So yeah, so that looks a little more optimistic. I need another patty, boy oh boy. You only give these little fives a third of a pound of a patty. Well, basically that's all fit in there. But they're not as big, they don't need as much. This colony obviously did. So I'm seeing a nice patch of brood. There's the queen. And a little bit of stored syrup. A little bit of pollen. And honey. These nukes are vulnerable too. Looks like they're devouring the patty. open brood going on so they're just maintaining the cap brood that they've got they don't have a lot of open syrup going on hmm that's kind of got me a little bit concerned vulnerable to the cold so we're not through it yet we are not through it yet let's dig into a six Sixes are a little bit bigger. The one more frame just seems to make all the difference. So they're eating the patty. So that's a good sign. So where do I want to dig into here? Sixes have just a little more space to be able to get into them. They're not as tight as the fives. I wish I had a bit of smoke, but <clears throat> they're not stinging me up, so nice and easy. I'll just dig right into the heart of the matter here. Beautiful, beautiful brood nest. Holy. Now that just put me in a good mood. Glad I opened up this one. What I'm seeing is kind of in the shadow. Beautiful. Mature cap brood and then this is must be the older part and that's filled up with mature larvae now already rimmed with syrup Boy, it just makes so much difference those fives. I looked into were just a little bit small in population This is what happens when they just have a little bit more population. It's a population threshold either they 
If they don't get the conditions, if they don't have enough bees, they fall backwards. If they have enough bees, they're able to maintain and advance. And this colony is advancing, look at that. So syrup, you know, enough bees to go gather the syrup, enough bees to go gather the pollen. Fresh little bees coming out. And that queen is filling up that space with eggs and larvae. So I don't need to dig any deeper in that. I'll just leave them alone. So those sixes are in good shape. They'll be able to hold themselves. Those fives, I'm gonna have to act on the fives. I can't do it until after the cold weather passes. But there's nothing wrong with these fives. They're just a little bit smaller because they were raised in this smaller box. I think they had five boxes of honey over top of them. I always make a difference between small hives and weak hives. A hive can be small for a lot of different reasons. A lot of those reasons are the conditions that are around them that just kind of fall upon them. Uh, weak hives are hives that are small because of their own doing. So as a beekeeper, if we can identify the small ones and promote them and you know advance them, help them, and if we can identify the weak and the failing and replace them, then we're able to salvage the viable and replace the failing. And I think we'll have to focus on those fives right after the cold and just get some reinforcements in them, prop them up and promote them, give them a hand.